Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University, and I'm going to walk you through a few quick help items when you are creating your own IRB protocol application. Before you complete your IRB protocol application, you first need to complete the IRB city training and have your training certificate ready. It's also helpful if before going in to uh, create the protocol that you have thought through and actually written out a couple of prompts describing your study. Things that cover the method, the participants, the recruitment, the risks, the benefits, etc. And so if you have all of this planned out before you actually come into the info ed system for SDSU, then uploading your IRB protocol will be much simpler and easier. So the first thing is you're going to have to create a um, account on the info ed SDSU um, overall portal. And once you're logged in, you come to this screen. So if you want to create a brand new um, project, what you're going to do is you're going to do human protocol and create new protocol. Um, the first thing that it'll do is it'll ask you to name the protocol and then it'll walk you through a couple of different screens where you're going to upload the PDF of your IRB city training certificate to show that you are in good standing. Um, and then it's going to take you to the overall um, IRB protocol application. I've actually been working on one, so I'm going to go to that screen right now. So this is the dashboard screen for the um, protocol that I'm working on right now. So the protocol that I'm working on right now is called Campaign News Article 2016. You can see that I am the PI here. I'm the principal investigator um, and I haven't yet um, submitted it yet. It, the status is under development over here. Um, so if I can go into the actual application, which is HRPP initial application. And if I click on that, it will show me the different forms um, and fields that I need to fill out in order to um, upload my IRB application. And so notice at the top of the screen, I have a couple of options, close, print, form history, save, and then complete. You're gonna save complete for the very end. And if there's an issue, then uh, when I spoke to the IRB people on the phone, they said, you'll know it. It will say that your form is not complete, that it's incomplete. So I did not get that error when I did this before, so I don't really know what it looks like, but they said uh, if you're incomplete, then you'll definitely know it. So you need to go through and fill out the entire questionnaire, and it is lengthy. However, it's not as lengthy as some of the um, older versions of the IRB um, pieces were. And so you go through, if you're going to do SONA, please make sure that when you have subject recruitment, you click electronic participant pool recruitment and you do click SONA for that. And then you continue on. And this is one of the areas that caused me a little initial confusion. The researcher interviews, surveys, questionnaires, focus groups. So they basically want my instrument. And in this case, it is a... Um, post-test. And so I went and I described all of the different measures that I'm going to use in my post-test and it says please upload the measures here in red text. But this is not a hyperlink. Um, what you have to do is upload that file from the dashboard, the page that I was just at a moment ago. Um, so I'll just go ahead and scroll through the rest of this and you can see I have it all filled out and everything is good to go. I would press save, which I didn't make any changes, so I don't need to do that now. And then I would go ahead and press complete, and it will show me that it is going through and making sure that I checked all of the boxes that I needed to check and that I do not have any errors whatsoever. When it comes up and it says that it is complete, which it did, I don't have any problems. My complete button is checked and I'm good. I'll go ahead and close this and I'm back to my dashboard screen. Now this is where I'm gonna upload things. So you can see I've already uploaded my instrument. I've already um, uploaded my electronic script. Now I'm gonna go in and upload my consent form. So to do that, I'm going to press add 
and then I'm going to find the consent form which is on my desktop right there. So this is the consent form, it's for the right thing. I'm gonna give it a version number just for my own uh, clarification. And then I'll go ahead and press add. And then I can press close. And so now I can see that I have, um, I don't see my consent form. I'll try it one more time, just in case. So add choose consent form version one upload please click please click close when you're done I'm done there it goes. So maybe I missed a click um, when I was talking. But so now I see I have my consent form and I have my um, recruitment script. And then of course I filled out the application and I did complete that. And I also have in here my instrument. So I don't have any other elements to this study. Um, if I did have other elements to this study, this is where I would upload them. I have already uploaded my IRB certificate to show that I am in good standing on my city training. And so I am ready to go with submitting this. So I'm going to go ahead and press submit. And I get this screen here. I'm going to accept all of the terms of the IRB. And now I guess I'm going to press submit and it's submitting it. Great. So my status is now submitted right here. And that's how I know that the project has been submitted. If I go to the submissions um, tab here in the dashboard, I can see that um, I have a protocol that is submitted. And so now I just sit and wait for the IRB to tell me whether they'd like any clarifications or changes. Thank you very much and happy researching.